Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Summonite 6. Today we have an event here at Stargazing Peak and an event over at the Sacred Forest. It does not matter which event you choose first. So I'm going to go ahead and do the one over here because, uh, yeah, we have uh, this one right here. I want to know the little event battle, though. We'll do this one. Oh, yeah, she's still going on about those parents and everything. Yeah, that is kind of odd that you don't know anything about yourself at all, but it's also very classic JRPG. No one has any memory in JRPGs. God forbid. Yeah, they all have amnesia. <laughs> oh. Huh. I wonder if you were raised in Limbaum and then just taken here and your memories were somehow erased. Oh, that is true. I mean, you were happy before you met these other people, and then they just came and uh, upset you. I don't think that they really meant to upset you, but just the act of seeing other people and talking to them has upset you because you realize that you don't really know anything about yourself. It's kind of upsetting. Yeah, that is true. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of hard admitting sometimes whenever you know that other people are right and that you're wrong. Um, although, you know, in this case, Ami wasn't exactly wrong. She's just in a bad situation. She just has to admit that to herself. Just because there's something wrong with the world doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. You okay? Oh. I don't know, but I'm sure we'll find out as we go through the course of the game. Yeah, well, that's only natural. Oh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, sounds like a plan, the only plan that we have. Oh. So, all this time you still thought that you were just going to leave them in the dust and not actually stay with them? Like, seriously? Ugh, screw Casus. Burrell is just brutally honest. I don't mind that at all. But Casus is an asshole. And that much I do mind. I mean, Burrell, he can be crass. He can be, uh, you know, he can use a lot of profanity and stuff like that. Um, but at least he's honest. Casus, he's just, ugh, he's a pain in the ass, and he always wants everything his way. And I think he's hiding something, too. I mean, Burrell was saying that, you know, he smells like a demon. So I don't know what that's all about. Whoa, what's going on? Yikes. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. No, I don't think so. We have danger music now. Of course it's going to be a monster here. You probably should. Yeah, it's dangerous to go alone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is true. Whoa! Yeah, just uh, put your foolish pride away. Get them. You need the help. was one loud sound and the quaking that had to be an explosion look there see that smoke in the distance oh i sense strong magic from that direction it's a battle no wait it's it's ness he must be the one involved in that battle is he the senior apprentice you were talking about before yes how can you tell it's him we're really far away it's his magic i can just tell there's no way I would mistake Ness for anyone else. Taurus! Amu! That explosion just now. Was that summon arts? What stupid ass distraction are you all getting excited about this time? Taurus said she can sense the presence of her senior apprentice. That seems important. Yeah, yeah, I got the vibe too, but I didn't wet my panties over it. It might be important enough to check. It is. But we must hurry. It seems like whatever battle Ness is in is big. He's gonna need help. Oh, 
off. This thing is a damage sponge. He should be out cold by now, but he's still charging. Damn, what is this big guy made of anyway? Master Nesty, I do implore you to be careful as there is a cliff over there. Don't worry, Kunin. I've got that figured out already. I almost didn't realize we've been fighting our way into a mountain. Your vitals are showing signs of fatigue. May I suggest repositioning? I guess you're right. Let's hide in those woods, Kunin. Excellent choice. I believe we lost him. Yes, but it will probably be a short reprieve. He'll be after us again soon. Are you injured? No, but I am more worried about you, Master Nesty. You are injured and your appearance is quite pale. Yeah, I went a little overboard with the magic, but it's not like I had a choice. Allow me to tend to those wounds while we have the time. I'll take whatever you have to restore my energy, too. To be honest, I'm this close to losing consciousness. I am afraid that we may not be able to carry on like this for much longer. Should anything happen to me, I insist that you leave me behind and get far away from here. Impossible. I am a nurse Frarzen. My design does not allow for such a scenario. I will not leave you behind if you are injured in combat. Oh, right. Sometimes I forget. You really are a technological marvel. I am the one to apologize for failing to meet your expectations in all areas. To add insult to injury. My reduced output here has made me rather unsuitable for combat. You're being too hard on yourself. It was thanks to you that we even got this far. Master Cannon is one of my patients as well. Is there anything we can do to save him? I'm sorry to say it, but that might be difficult. It might be possible if we could converse with him, but the likelihood of that happening now is near zero. I can't fall here either. I'd hate to lose that bird brain to this crazy and senseless world. We'll just have to keep going, whether we have a disadvantage or not. I'm guessing she must be at the end of her rope right about now. So, as her senior apprentice, I have to be the one to rescue her, no matter the adversities. Ness! That voice, is that Taurus? Him. I knew it was you, Ness. I'm so glad you're all right. You too. You don't look too much worse for wear, and that is a great relief. Hey there. You look like hell, man. Let me guess. Tough opponents? Borel, you were together. I heard the sound of battle and thought you were here. So we all rushed here immediately. What kind of a fool are you? What? Why? Dragging so many people recklessly to a place that may be dangerous is the epitome of foolishness. But... I may be delusional from the trek over here, but that didn't sound very grateful. Yes, this is better than sending her out alone to find you. Yeah, you have no idea how worried Taurus was about you. Who are you people? I'm Natsumi. I just met Taurus yesterday. And I'm Kasus, a summoner who came here with Natsumi. I'm quite useless at the moment, though. Okay, Linbaum residence then? What about you over there? I'm Amu. I'm from this world. Wait, this world has native humans living here? The time for exposition is not now. I'm afraid our opponent is back, and he's coming straight for us. Ugh, oh, this is a nightmare. And this big guy has some ridiculous perseverance. What's that, Ness? I encountered him when I was looking for you and had quite the battle. It really wore me down. Cannon? You know him, Natsumi? Yeah, he's from the same place as me. But he looks different. He is a resounding world species Erosade of mixed ogre and human descent. You're kidding! Nope, completely obvious. When I first bumped into him on this world, he was still calm and composed. However, he was unable to suppress his ogre blood and ended up going out of control, as you can see. Pathetic! The lack of control present in this wild rampage should be embarrassing to him. Cannon! What's wrong with you? Don't you recognize us? Please, you must regain control of your mind. Looks like your plea is falling on deaf ears. No one is reaching him now. That's just terrible. I guess we have no choice but to bring him down right here. Are you serious, Ness? There has to be another way. Totally serious. If I saw a better way, I'd be recommending it. But wait! Cannon is not a bad person. We can just snap him out of this. I'm sure he'll join us. And I'm saying we're all going to be dead before there's any chance of affecting him for the better. But there has to be another way. 
I hate to say it, but Nesty's right in this case. Look at Cannon. Stray summons are beginning to gather around him. Controlling them or something. Those are yokai from Silter. I guess this makes him a monster commander then? Lucky duck. If any more appear, we may be in real trouble. We need to take Cannon out before this gets any worse. At least, that's how I see it. Well, he says, no. I know this is a bitter pill to swallow, Natsumi, but does it make any more sense to die at his hand? Yes, but... Steal yourself too, Taurus. No! This is Natsumi's friend! I don't think we should be giving up before we even try to help him! Unfortunately, there just isn't the time to explore more options. But... Ah! I've had enough! Just listening to all of you is making me crazy! Can't you just work together and stop the bickering? Instead of going back and forth about this issue, why don't you try doing something to help first? Amu, stop arguing about what to do and just jump in and do what needs to be done. What? But that means... Hey you! Glasses! Glasses? You're the senior apprentice for Taurus, right? Then you should know how to contain this situation. Amu, what are you talking about? We just need to beat on him until he stops running wild, and then we can try to snap him out of this. That is plainly an absurd plan. Still, the simplest plans are often the most effective. I support her suggestion. I suppose we can give it a try. It's not like a better plan has been vocalized. Whether or not we're ready to fight, that animal and his minions are ready to tear us apart. I mean, just look at him. Natsumi! Yeah, all right. Sorry, Cannon. I'll try not to make this too painful. All right, everyone. Let's get this under control. Time to kick darkness into daylight. Let's do it. I love how we can just stand around and blab on and on and on forever and a day. While all of these people are here and they're summoning yokai and everything else and monsters and we're still just talking constantly. It's never ending. <laughs> it's fine, though. Okay, let's see who I want to go ahead and put in. Uh, just these guys. Uh, yeah, ready to roll. So, oh, what are you, hurry up, let's go. He's not going to snap out of it just because you call his name. Yeah. Just kind of whack him upside the head a bit. He'll be fine. Okay. Okay, so yeah, uh, Tolan's Slag is a nice ability that Amu has. Uh, it works the same way as Raj's special ability right here, except whereas Raj gets extra turns, basically Amu loses her cannon? turn, but she gives um, a buff to her party members. I'm not really a fan of it at all, but there is a brave okay. order to use it, so I'll be doing that. Let's see, can I go ahead and attack you from up here? Probably not. Oh, I can't. Shocking! Alright! Okay, got that one guy down. For now. What are we yeah, this is count? not a hard battle at all. Let's see. Got you over here. Okay. Uh okay, so you're up here. Let's go ahead and uh how much your physical attack like? Yeah, not so hot. So we'll put you over here. And uh he actually has a really nice spell, this gear blues, because it's pretty cheap but it's very powerful. So we're gonna go ahead and Power use that. Bam! Yeah, one shot in these guys. So nice. Do you have connect? No, you don't. Okay, Taurus, let's see where I'm gonna put you. Put you over here, and then hopefully you should be able to uh, take this guy out. Oh, close enough, at least. Probably should use more powerful spell, but it's not that big of a deal. Better make this count. 
Uh, let's see what I'm gonna do with you. Can you shoot from down here? I don't think that you can. No, you can't. Okay. So yeah, we'll put you over here, and I guess you can go ahead and maybe take this guy out. Uh, hey, you can. I to nice. Okay, perfect. Sorry, it had to come to this. Okay. I love how they even are naming these guys umbrellas. I thought that they were gonna like, skirt around the issue and be like, "Oh no, they're not umbrellas. They're something else." But they're like, "Those guys are totally umbrellas." Yeah, pretty simple battle overall. We do have some decent brave orders that we have to um, deal with. Like, let's see if I can get you. How much MP do you have? If I use this. I'll only be able to use one more spell, so... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's have you physically attack um, this guy over here, and that should probably kill him. Yeah, there we go. I do like Nesty. He's a very good character. He has very good skills. He's from Summonite 2, I believe, and he's kind of like an intellectual type, if you know what I mean. He's one of those people who always bitches about everything. He's kind of like Machias. He's actually exactly like Machias, the more I think about it. Here I go. Always whining, always complaining about everything. Let's go ahead and use her special ability, Tolem Slag. So what that's going to do is it increases everybody else's defense and magic defense by 30%. Don't let my power go to waste. But, yeah, it, it skips her turn, and it only happens during her turn. So, it's a nice ability, it's nice that she has it. But it's just not as good as Raj's ability. I would rather use a Spear Slag than this one, like any day of the week. Maybe if it increased your attack power and your magic attack power by 30%, then I'd be all about it. But your defense and your magic defense, I mean, come yeah, on. Me. It, it's like, th like these guys really aren't that hard anyway. Uh, let's see. Maybe have you go ahead and... Uh, is a summon material that nope still can't get it so how much is this 20 oh this one's new actually but that's 30 mp wow it's not that powerful either now well, let's go ahead and get Here's this chest Ooh, another summonite leaf awesome I need to rest a little. okay perfect now. Let's bring him up here and try to lure Cannon out. Stand by for now. Because Cannon, er, he has to kill Cannon to get um, the Brave Order player. So let's see. Why do we keep going to special? What are the summon arts? I uh, still can't uh, get him. So I'm going to move you back a little just so that I'm out of his range for attacking. Are these guys seriously just not going to do anything? They're literally just standing there. It's really ridiculous. Here we have this... Really? Seriously? We have this big boss guy, and... Here's everything I've got. You know, he's, he's, he, can't, he can't control his ogre blood, and he's going out of control, and he wants to kill us. But he's just standing there for like five rounds now. Like, do something. Come on now. Get up there. I need to rest a little. Here I go. Okay, so yeah, her little ability is over with, and that's it. That's pretty much her ability. Like I said, it's battle. pretty crappy, to be honest with you. Oh, I can get some good damage there. Power courses through me. Nice. I have done as I intended. And I actually have enough to uh, use it again, so that's kind of perfect. Now, we don't have to kill all of the monsters here. We only have to kill uh, Cannon. So, don't worry about the other guys. And in fact, you'll get a better rank if you don't kill all the other guys, because you'll be getting it done faster. So, that's kind of cool. Let's see. I get some damage there. And we get to see her summon too, because apparently we haven't seen that one yet. Here I go. Okay, okay, just be useless. As usual. Yeah, leave this to me. Uh I guess you could try to kill this guy. Oh, oh, you don't have any MP. Yeah, you're done. I need to rest a little. 
Commence battle. And then just let's have you actually. Can you use maybe um, a summon burst or something like that? Oh no, you can't. It's grayed out. That sucks. I guess she doesn't have enough MP for Witness that. The power. Because I was gonna try to use a summon burst and uh, go ahead and Look blast away. all oh, those guys with it. But again, I need Nesty Suffer to get the kill in on this guy for the brave order. And nobody got in critical seat, so I should have gotten Ashes all three brave orders. Must we continually suffer this parade of fools? Uh, hey, sweet! Ooh, and I got S, S rank too. Nice. Lots of uh, summonite leaves too. Very, very cool. Um, do I want to level up Taurus? I guess I might as well. Uh, let's see. We'll level up her up to six as well, and then stick it all in magic attack. Yeah. And with that, I am good to go. I'll be doing skills and things like that off-screen. Yeah, are you okay? The steam start stopped coming out of your head. If he's unconscious, he wouldn't be standing up. Oh. Uh oh Oh no! I guess we didn't stop him after all! Whoa! What in the world's going on? A spool of whoop-ass, not a can of whoop-ass? Um... Okay. I thought that Burrell didn't have any power. Oh, well, what do you suggest doing, Amu? Oh, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, what do you suggest? You're the smart one, after all. Um, it's either kill or be killed, so, I mean, this guy's kind of crazy, so you would probably want to kill him, rather than have him kill all of you, who are not crazy, who are lucid. I mean, come on. Whoa, there's those strings again. Too bad 80 isn't here with her magic sword. Oh, yeah. What's going on here? Who keeps on summoning these guys, and why are they, why are they like marionettes being controlled by strings? Oh. But how? You don't have a magic sword. You just have a gun. Whoa. Or some other kind of special power, too. So it worked, but we didn't even get to see what she did. She just kind of glowed and said, please let this work, and then they vanished. The power of prayer! Thoughts and prayers be with you, and it works. Doesn't work in real life, but I guess it works here in Summonite 6. Sure. Oh. Well, hopefully. Oh, okay. Well, perfect. Oh, well, great. Least best? Yeah, that's, like, not right at all. <laughs> There's nothing right about that. Oh. It's not about you. It's about him. You know, you might want to go and check on him and make sure he's okay... Rather than, you know, the, your little, woe is me. Oh my god, my muscles were so tense. Bullshit. Oh wait, you just pulled them out? I thought you used the power of hopes and prayers to get them out. Ugh, who knows. Well, yeah. I mean, she is native to here. What do you mean it wasn't anything? You saved this guy's life, and you probably saved all of our lives, too, because God forbid we actually kill anybody or make a decision. Can't have any of that going on here. You know, we have Mr. Intellectual over there, and he can't make a decision to save his life. Literally! Oh. Huh. A 
Ferrars and medic bot in active military service. Okay, so she's a robot, and she talks like a robot, and she's annoying as a robot, so I'll be avoiding her at all costs. Oh, so I guess you were summoned here too. So it's not just humans who are being summoned here, it's also robots. Wow, that's different. Oh. Yeah, I agree with Kunan. Let's get out of Dodge. I mean, more monsters can come. Oh, okay. Huh, sure. Yeah, no kidding. Again, what does it matter? She's going to be like your nurse or hospital or whatever, and I'm already said that there's tons of room. Wow. She's mad at being thanked? What's your problem? She just said thank you. Man, God forbid somebody say thank you to you. Ugh. Sometimes I'm on Amu's side, and other times she's just a bitch for no reason. Like, get it together. Why? We saved him. Why do you not feel good? I don't know. And how'd you get rid of him? We don't know that either! Oh, are you still going on about your parents? Come on now, get over it. Doesn't matter. Eh, we'll figure it out. Oh. Yeah, there really is no need to worry about it. You should worry about the problems that are right in front of you, like all the monsters appearing and everything else. Not this other crap. But anyway, next time on Let's Play Summonite 6 Lost Borders, we're going to move on to Chapter 9 and see what Burrell's moosing about in the woods. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.